Hello everyone, today I'm doing part 2 of my paint tool side walkthrough and this one is going to be on blending modes and first I'm just going to show how each one will affect the drawing in separate, like in lines, I'll do it in a second and then I'm going to show how I would actually use it in the drawing and why so here we go so the first one, it's normal it's, it's normal, that's what you do when you want to draw stuff and it's just it goes right across, doesn't do anything special. Your basic layer that you draw stuff with. And really, you can make pictures with just the normal layer. But, you know, if you want to go fast and you want to have shortcuts, then you use all the other ones. Of course, the uh, blending modes usually make it look more digital, so you have to work with that. And digital art, it's fine. Like, that digital look, it can look really cool. But if you want it to look more traditional, you have to be really careful with the multiply layer. I mean, the blending mode layers. Okay, the next mode is multiply, and what that does is it still shows a little bit of the color through on the layer below it, and uh, it just makes everything darker, but it still shows the lines, see? And it doesn't get rid of it like it would do on normal, like it gets rid of the lines. But on multiply, it's really nice because if you want to add shadows really quickly, just throw on a multiply layer, and boom, boom, shadow. Ho ho. And then you just lower the opacity to what you want it to be, and you're good. And then the next one will be a screen layer. I don't really use screen layer that much. It's kind of like the opposite of a multiple layer, but it's not really that strong in its lighting ability, so I don't, I, I don't think I've ever used it, to be honest. Maybe like once or twice, but that was in an interesting time in my early digital art days. I don't, I mean, I'm perfectly fine. I'm sure people can find ways to use it, but it's just, it doesn't really work well for me for some reason. Okay, the next one is luminosity. And I really like this one, even though I don't really use it that much. And the reason being is it's just so powerful. It's really luminous. <laughs> and I use it mainly for highlights. And if I want to really make the lighting of the scene obvious and I'll do that in a second when I go back and add it how I would actually use it in a drawing so luminosity it's really cool it's kind of like a super strong version of sh screen and I just lower the opacity to what I want it to be it's it's awesome then my next one that I really love is the overlay layer and what that is is really you can think of all of them as kind of like a clear glass that still shows the color beneath it and it's like a certain kind of glass that's I don't know, magical. But this one, it shows, still shows the color through, but it just makes them a little bit darker. And it's really good for adding all different kinds of color to a drawing while still keeping the colors cohesive and looking nice. Like, you could add, like, tons of different kinds of colors. You can make it lighter, or you can go really dark, and it'll make it darker. It's just really fun to experiment with, and I probably use this one the most out of any of them. And it's amazing. I really like it. It's so useful. Especially since I love colors so much. Like, you could just throw on so many different kinds of colors. And they're all still... Like, since it still shows the color beneath it, it makes them just... I don't know. I love overlay. I am over <laughs> the moon for it. Oh my gosh, I'm so terrible. But yeah. Here I go. I'm going to show how I use multiply layer in the drawing. So, I'm going to have the lighting coming up from up here. And I'm just going to have... that. Yeah, that's not normal. Uh, okay. So, at first I'll pick this color, make it a little bit darker, and then move it slightly more. So I have a nice shadow color that's still cohesive and nice and pretty. And then I'll just blur it. And the reason I use all these multiply layer, I mean blending modes, I'm sorry, uh, it's just so I can get the bases for all, where I want the shadows and stuff to be. And usually I'll just paint over it. I've done uh, a couple tutorials on this. And you can look through my channel if you want to see them. But these are basically just the precursor to the actual painting that I'm going to do. And the drawing I do before this, this is like the basic of the basic. No shadows, no nothing, just the color lay down. Then I use all the other ones to add the different uh, lighting and shadows and colors. Then, okay, so the next one I will use is luminosity. And I will make this really bright. Uh, normally, I wouldn't do this like this strong of a lighting unless she was like having a bomb 
explode behind her and she's about to die. But this is just for the effect. I'm going to make the pasty lower, by the way. So, pasty low, and what do you know? It's a nice uh, lighting thing. I'm going to make this a little bit darker since that's so bright. Um, I might use a little bit of blue for the shadows. Also, here's a good tip. If you want your drawing to look more interesting and lively, don't make your shadows black or gray. Make them like a dark blue or something. Or whatever like the lighting scene is, make them that color. Don't make them... Okay, I'll show you with black and how it will make it look kind of ugly. So, instead of this, I'm going to use black. And it just doesn't have that much life to it. It kind of just makes it look murky and generally disgusting. So I don't do that. Very special case for black. So, you, in general, you don't want to use black that much. Okay, I need to go fast. The next one will be an overlay layer, because I don't like screen. <laughs> and I'm just going to add some colors really fast. And, let's see. Red always looks... You just try different colors. That looks, that looks cool. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Oh, Miku. Oh yeah, this is Hatsune Miku, if anyone was wondering, by the way. I have been in love with her since my weeaboo days of 6th and 7th grade. She was all I would draw. Like, no joke. I I still love drawing her, really. Okay, so... It's about to be over. Let's see, I just want some... Ooh, let's add one big highlight. Phew. No, not like that. Uh... And there you go. All done. This is what I would do before I started painting just so I have all the colors in place. And it's really fun. So hopefully that helps with your understanding on blending modes. And I will hopefully be back next week or sooner if I have time to make another video. So thank you for watching and bye bye.